Hi, my name is Ali Purdeli from cookie.com. In this video, I'm gonna cover the basics of a smart, one of the latest widgets that we have in cookie. And this is one of the most advanced widgets that we have. So let me place the widget in use and without any further ado, start using this widget, because that's the best way that I can show you what this widget can really do and show you all the features that we have in this widget. So you get this small container when you place the widget in Muse. And the widget option, you have so many options that uh, might be confusing when you look at it at the first place, but these are mostly to control the additional features that we have in this widget. So uh, you don't have to go through all these options, but only if you want to use them. Like if you want to add a video or if you want to disable this widget, the light box for this widget, or add a text, then you can go ahead and use these options so they basically give you more control so i place this and i want to add an image to this container so i can go to the fill panel i can add image just like when you add a background image to your simple rectangle when you make a rectangle in muse and when you want to add a background this is exactly what you do to the fill panel image you can change the fitting option you can change the positioning and by resizing this and placing this widget here I basically made a responsive container now let me make this a little bit more um, advanced I, I mean a little bit more interesting by duplicating this I'm uh, holding the option key or the alt key or you can uh, select the widget copy and paste to get a duplicate let me resize this and place it here I'm basically making the responsive grid right now. And as you can see, I'm not dealing with any kind of calculations. So let's select the next one, fill panel, add a new image. The third one, add another image. That easy. And let me preview the page. So this is what you get. And the difference between what you can see right now and what you get by simple content to use is that when you play something like this in the design mode, what you get is three rectangles at the center, at the top, and the white space uh, on the left and the right sides. But now it gets responsive. And when I resize the page, it is responsive. So basically you just place them and you can change the layout you can make it like this add a new one again i'm holding the option key or the alt key and through the fill panel i add a new image and now let's preview the page you get your responsive grid and i make it uh, let's make it a little bit more interesting by giving this responsive height as well so let's make it this big and go to the option panel and height. This is the most important option that you have in the option panel. You can have the proportion in the design view, keeping the proportion in the design view, meaning that you get the exact proportion that you see here, or uh, you can give it a percentage of the browser site. By now, let's give it a percentage of the browser site. Let's say 50% of, of the height of the browser and Again, duplicate it by holding the option key. And give it a different image. And now let's preview the page. So the ones at the top do not have responsive height, but the ones at the bottom have 50% of the height of the browser. So when I resize the browser, you can see that the height of the ones at the bottom is changing. I place them at the very top and change this to keeping the proportion. And let me preview it now so you can see the difference. So this one is keeping the proportion. This one is changing by the height of the browser. So when I resize the page, when I resize the height, this one is changing by the height of the browser. Both are changing by the width. 
But this one is keeping the proportion. No matter what, no matter if you resize the browser uh, vertically or horizontally, it keeps the proportion. So let me show you something else that we have on this widget. Let's say that you make your design. Let me make the page a little bit higher and duplicate the widget and add a new image. So let's say that you have two copies of the widget at the top and one here. And now I preview the page. So this one is 50 per this one is proportionally, this one is 50% height. Both are vertically um, horizontally responsive and this one as well. So when I click on one of these copies, it brings up a light box. And this is a very unique light box because it searches through the page and finds all the images, all the copies of the widget and includes them in this light box. So when I click next, you can see the next image and the previous one. And you have all these images here in the uh, quick view. And you can also add a video. Let me uh, create a more interesting grid. So let's just start from the beginning. Drag the widget to the page. I get the simple container. I resize it. I add an image. Let's make it percentage of the browser's height. Let's make it 25% of the browser's height and duplicate it, place it here. Duplicate it one more time, place it here and resize it. And one more time, make it a little bit bigger and place another one here and change the images. And when I preview the page, there you go, you get your layout. And let me make the ones at the top. Yeah, it's 25%, it's okay. So when I resize the browser, uh, they all stay um, one fourth of the height of the browser, 25%. And when I click on one of them, the light box shows up. And now let's change this one. Let's add a video to this one. And let's say that the video size uh, is 1500. We want it to be 1500 for this and preview the page. So when I click on this, the video shows up. You can go through the other images that you have, or you can use a quick view to see all the images in one place. The other feature that we have in Smart is the ability to create responsive text. So when you get your responsive grid, you can have responsive text in your grid. And for each image, the text inside it will change responsively in terms of size. So let's type something here. This is a smart. And the text shows up here. One of the good things about the text that you add to this widget is that you can control it um, vertically. When you add a text to a container in Muse, as you know, you cannot control it vertically, but horizontally. But here you have the option to center the image. So let's keep it at the center and let's go to the text panel and align it to the center horizontally too. And let's change the color to white so you can see it. And let's change the font. So let's make it bigger too. Okay, let's say um, that we have this one here, this text here, uh, and the font size is 50 pixels, but we have the option here to control it responsively. Meaning that, uh, okay, let's say that start scaling at this screen size. So when the screen size reaches 1500 pixels in width, it, the font starts scaling and the minimum font size is going to be 24 pixels. So let's preview the page and see what we get. 
this is the uh, grid that we have and when I resize the page as you see the size of the font changes too and it is responsively changing with the entire grid so we covered the video we covered the text and we covered the uh, placement you can change the padding here and the hover effect you can disable the hover effect for any of the widget that you want and you can also have one image at the bottom of your project like here and you want to have it responsive like this and you want to have it changing proportionally in terms of height and width both but you don't want to include this one in the uh, light box that you get out of these images so you can simply go and disable light box for this one so when I preview the page when I click on one of these images all these images are going to be in the light box but the one in the bottom because I just disabled the light box uh, you still have the hover effect you can disable the hover effect too if you want by disabling the hover effect option here by checking this option and you can also for this one that we have the text you can also choose to have the text shows up only when you hover the widget so let's check this and preview the page so when i hover this widget the text shows up let's say that you want to exclude this image from the light box but you don't want to disable the light box you want to have it as a standalone image with its own light box so when I click on it, it shows up in a light box, the video that we just added, but it, it doesn't have the next and previous buttons and it doesn't have the quick view because this is only a single light box for the video we added to this copy of the widget. So it is responsive proportionally, as you can see, and it is separated from uh, the grid that we have at the top. let's see what we have not covered yet the light box options and you have two different transitions you have a sliding effect and fading effect but remember that if you want to change the transition you have to start changing this from the beginning and it saves you a lot of time so when you place the widget for the first time on the page you need to change the transition to fade so when you duplicate it you get all the copies of the widget that you have on the page with the fade transition and that way you don't have to go back and change the transition on each one of them separately you can also change the background color for the slideshow but for this with this one as well you have to change it for the first um, copy of the widget so it stays consistent for all the grid for all the images in the grid that you get at the end and that was uh, actually the basics that we have on this widget. If you have any more questions about this widget, uh, please do not hesitate to email us at support.cookie.com. Thank you for watching this video.